blessed and you feel so good For putting this ring on your finger Everything nice and everything good Yeah, I can't see the ginger Loving you, loving you Loving you, loving you Your man is loving you Loving you, loving you Your woman is loving you Loving you, loving you My name is Mr. Johnson Oladako I hail from Agawi. First and foremost, I return back all the glory to Almighty God, my soul, my people, all the things that we have done today that went well. We thank God for the time. I appreciate everybody that came from far and near, especially those people that came from abroad. I really appreciate them. It's all a pleasure to have flown from London to Ibadan, Nigeria to celebrate the conjugal blessing between Sanjay, Dakwa, and Iyabode. the law for today that my brother Sanjay Oladapo Johnson Olubela uh, is getting married so is a uh, uh, hard drop today I'm 
Praise be the Lord. Shall we pray? Our Father and our God, we thank you for this particular event. 
We thank you that so far you have been in the midst of it. You did not allow any unfortunate incident to happen. We thank you because this particular marriage will last. And your Lord, you will be in the midst of the marriage itself. And you take perfect control of everything that the couple will be doing afterward. We thank you concerning the program that you, Lord, you have already sanctified with your blessing. Because they will see your glory in the days to come. And you, Lord, will bless them and grant them all the desire of their heart. We bless you, King of Him, for who you are. We thank you, Lord, because you are God. For in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Praise be the Lord. Uh, brethren, I want to say a big thank you to everybody that is here today. As we all know, wedding is a very, very big event. Marriage is not just an event that people just walk into. It's an event that deserves a lot of reckoning, a lot of respect. And I pray that as a couple are moving on into this particular marriage, that the Lord will be with them, the Lord will guide them. The necessary wisdom to perform and to succeed in marriage, the Lord will grant unto them. Praise be the Lord. But we can quickly listen to this. The book of Ephesians, chapter 5, from verse 21. It reads, Submitting yourself one to another in the fear of God. Why submit? Why submit yourself unto your husband as unto the Lord? For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is the savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wife be unto their own husband in everything. Husband, love your wife, even as Christ has also loved the church, and gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So, taught men to love their wife as their own body. He that loveth his wife, loveth himself. I just have a little word of admonition before I bless the ring to the groom and the bride. Wedding is a journey of commitment. Wedding is a journey of commitment. It's a lifetime contract. There are so many unknown regarding marriage. There are so many things you are still going to discover. Marriage is not like caution. In marriage, you have to exercise a lot of tolerance. And that is why the Bible is saying unto us that wife, submit yourself unto your husband. In as much as you are submitting, I'm telling you you will continue to enjoy him. And the Bible equally acknowledges the husband that husband should love the wife as his own self. Your wife should be part of you. Nothing should separate you. I always encourage couple, the moment you are now a couple, whatever goes on in your home, let it stay in your home. If anything happens, go to the Lord. Don't go and tell the church party. Because by the time you are you resolve the issue within yourself, they will continue to spread it. They will continue to broadcast it. And at the end of the day, they will be the own and the major factor why the marriage will eventually crumble. I pray your marriage will never crumble in the mighty name of Jesus. And if one want to tell the bride, I mean the, the groom, that like I one of my father in the Lord do say, hope for the best, expect the worst, have a short absorb. Women, they are very much like onion, they unfold. They unfold. She's a school that you will have to learn. She's a subject you have to learn throughout your lifetime. I'm telling you, in the next 20 years, 30 years, by God's grace, you will still discover something that you learn. Is this still the same woman that I married? Yes, she's still the same. She's that very woman. And that's the reason why the Bible says, for this is like a man who is not as a house. And never to a woman, and the two of them shall become one. In as much as you always have that and lack of your mind, that it is waiting for whatever happens, the two of you, you are one. Don't allow any third party to come in between you. I'm not I'm talking about external factors. Whatever happens within your home, try as much as possible 
to solve it and to settle it. And I pray that the Lord will grant you the wisdom to rule your house in the mighty name of Jesus. If there's any principality power or whatever means that is coming against this marriage by the God, the captains of God, they will be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Praise be the Lord. Can I have the ring, please? It's a real pleasure to be here today to celebrate the Yabo and um, Yabo's wedding. <laughs> Father, unto you I present this spirit, which is a token that your children want to exchange. As a symbol of the love that they share, Father, I present this spirit unto you, sanctified in your blood in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, bless this spirit, let it be a token for the union of your children, a union that will last forever in the mighty name of Jesus. I come against every principalities and power that we want to meditate against a particular marriage. I say, Lord, destroy them in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree concerning your marriage that the heaven shall open the door of favor concerning you. It will bless you so much that you won't have room to continue. It will open the door of greatness. Make the matter will gather in order to favor you. And so shall it be. I pray that whatever you desire concerning your marriage, the Lord will release unto you. That as we are presenting this week back unto you, and they're going into your individual figures, I pray that the blessing of the Lord will go with you. He will surround you with His grace. He will bless you and honor you. Wherever you go, you will find favor, and so shall it be. I commit your house into the house of the Lord, into the hand of the Lord. I say the Lord will continue to protect you. He will guide you. He will make you to stay through. And at the end of the day, you will come out victorious, and so shall it be. Thank you, Lord, because you are God. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise be the Lord. Can you say after me? I, Oladako. Thank you, Iyabode, to be my wife and to have and to hold. From this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, and to love and to cherish, until we are parted by death, according to God's holy law. This is my solemn vow. Please, can you say after me now? I, Yabode, take you on Ladako to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to church until we are parted by death. According to God's holy law, this is my solemn vow. Praise the Lord. I, Orlando, I give you this ring as a sign of my marriage. With my body, I honor you. All that I'm giving to you and all that I have, I share with you. With the love of God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I want to have a long way. Oh, 
emi okan na mi o de wole alopo do olorun awon yawo won di lati alaafia mo de dupe lo wa awon ta fi we pe ebi ore ara lati okere ati lati le pe won ti wa layo won a pada layo o iri re bayi a kari gbogbo won o gbije i Question to ask you today Will you marry me even though I met you today And she said you don't even know my father Oh the mommy rara you don't know my mother I'm me shy Can you pay my red rises just a million dollars I've known in Yaba for a few years now. She's such a lovely lady. And I must say, Sanjay is very lucky to have her. She's a very humble friend. She's very lovely. And as you can see, there's a lot of us from UK that came to celebrate with her. That is how good and kind the couples are. We thank God that he's a compensator. He's a thing of joy. And we bless the Lord that God, in his infinite mercy, has granted us this opportunity. He's, God has been so merciful to him. And we thank God for a great day like this.
I'm 